Hey everyone, I'm Nicholas and welcome back to another production bot video. In this episode, we're going to go over uh, using vMix that comes on production bot to bring in four remote callers to produce a show with. Now for this, it just uses vMix call and we've done videos on this before, but to kind of show you it again, if we come here, I'm going to at the bottom do add an input. I want to click on the button, not just do the carrot. And then the last option is video call. So here are all my kind of base settings that I can do. I can give a password that I can have them go to vmixcall.com, have them enter the password and their name and they can connect. Or I can also just have this link right here that will automatically put in that password so they can just put in their name and connect and all should be good with that. Um, then we also have the return feed. So with this, I can choose any of the four outputs or none. I'm just going to use output one for this just because they'll need just they'll I'll just want them to see program and that should be fine. And we also have the video bandwidth return, you know, the default 720 1200 is plenty fine for most people, so, you know, some talent that are much more used to this like having that 1080, but I find that default works plenty fine for this. And then the audio source. So this is really nice. So we can actually send them any of our audio buses, master or headphones. I only have buses A through D enabled, so that's why you see it there. But this is really nice for having the multiple talent that we're going to have. So we're going to bring in four remote guests in this video or show you how to. And then we're going to do in, uh, individual audio back to each of them. So what I could do even is just like put them all on bus A, add this microphone to bus A, and then talk to them that way. So that way they'll only hear me in their IFB. It won't go out to program. And the nice also thing is that by putting them all just in bus A, vMix will do what's automatically called a mix minus. So it'll take the, away their audio for their return so they don't hear themselves back. It's really nice, it's very useful, it's really annoying as talent to hear yourself back. So for them, they don't have to do it and vMix does this automatically. But for this video, we're gonna give them their own audio bus for each so I can independently talk to each of them when I want to. So that way I don't have to talk to all of them, I can just talk to one at a time. So looking at this, the settings all look fine. We have uh, bus A for this. And honestly, I'm just gonna make more of these. We're gonna do the exact same thing, except we're just gonna change the audio bus with each time. So that way I'll have, as I was talking about, the independent audio so I can talk to them on their own and not talk to everyone at once. So there's our four. It also should be mentioned that uh, the amount of vMix callers will depend on what version you have. So currently I'm actually using vMix 4K for this computer. This supports up to four vMix callers, so it works uh, good. But if you have uh, vMix Pro, that'll actually support up to eight vMix callers. And it's really nice with that. But so coming back here, I'm just going to disable audio follows video. We're gonna put them all, we're just gonna enable all of them. And then based also on this, I'm going to put them all. So like, so the return for call one is basically bus A. I don't need, so I can, I'm just going to put these in B, C, and D, and I'm just going to automatically create the mix minus uh, for them. Cause like, I don't need to necessarily hear this, but um, you know, it, either way, it should be plenty fine. So right now we have call one, this is going to master and then B, C, and D. So that way talents B, C, and D will be able to hear them. Same thing with the second call, this goes to A, C, and D because they're getting bus B back. Uh, the third call here is A, B, and D. And then same with uh, this fourth call is A, B, and C. And then also they're all just going to master as well, just so I don't have to have a separate, I'm not gonna do a separate bus for all of their mics. I'm just gonna put it all and have them in master. I can also then just mute the master bus or I can just take them all out of master uh, and then have a shortcut or do whatever I need to do to bring them in when the show starts. We're just gonna put them back in master for now. And so as you can see, my microphone right here is talking. Hello, hello, mic check, talk, talk, talk. And so that's with me only going to master. I wouldn't wanna be in master at this case. So as you can see here, I'm not in master, all is fine. So I can also now, if I just wanna to talk to talent one, hey, how's it going? I'm just talking to talent one, and this is really nice. I'm done talking to talent one. Now we're back to talent two, or now we're actually on to talent two, and now, so that's all good. And I can just go down this list. Um, and also how I'm finding these additional ones is I'm just right clicking over this. Uh, it's a thing that kind of isn't super intuitive if you don't know it, 
but all I'm doing is right clicking that gives me the options for multiple and I'm going to the next one so right now I'm talking to talent uh, the fourth talent and all is good so that's me talking with all of the four individual talent now we just need to make a four box to kind for a show so if we come back here I'm gonna make one more input I'm just gonna make a we're just gonna have a color and what kind of color do we want I want a gray background um, it doesn't need to be fancy I just want to kind of show how uh, easy it is to do this and then just for terms of presentation and like just showing you how to do this I'm gonna actually slightly change these colors just so you'll see me moving the individual boxes around so what this one will be a little red we'll have this one be blue then we'll have this one be green and this one will then be kind of tealish I guess where's my where's my yellow we'll do yellow there we go so we have the four colors right here and then if I come to the settings for this last box um, we're just gonna go into here and then we'll go to layers multi view now vmix actually has a really cool thing where they already have some options set up already so like I have a four box here that I can get set up and these don't assign the sources, this just assigns the position. So if I were to click on edit, this would bring me to where I can adjust multi-view and I can adjust this layer. So the zoom is set to 0.5, the pan is set. So right now, if I were to come back here and we'll choose this to be the four calls that we just made. And then we have them like that. So then if I close that, and then I can just bring this in the program and then here will be our four talent. We'll have talent one, two, three, and four. And then based on however the show you want, you can also have a three box. You can have different versions of your four box and based, basically however you want to do it. Uh, what I really like because they're sitting over the background is the merge is very cool with it right there. And then, so it doesn't look the greatest with there because they're all fading out but it will like fill the screen and it'll shrink back down. And it's, it really looks like when it's all set up and everything is good with it, it looks like everything just flows and just goes all together. It looks really smooth and I love it. So that's really how to build a four box, bringing in four remote VMix callers and how you can have independent talk back to all of those talent. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. It's definitely a meaty subject to get into and this kind of gets into more of the show building aspect, but it shows how powerful vMix can be. And this is just with a very basic setup. You can get a lot more into it, get a lot more creative with it and have your shows looking a lot better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let us know in the comments, what do you use? Are you a fan of OBS? Do you like using vMix? Um, what's, what do you like to do for building your four boxes or what do you even think of vMix call? I think vMix call is really nice nice and there's a there's a lot more powerful ways that you can utilize it but even just with bringing a remote talent it's nice quick and simple thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video